Dr. David Samadhi. He's the chairman of urology and the chief of robotic surgery here at Lenox Hill Hospital. Full disclosure, you're my urologist. We've been going through these exams for several years because I have a family history. Absolutely. First of all, let me give you a huge compliment for doing this. We're going to save a lot of men with prostate cancer and prostate health. I've been seeing Matt for about five years now. Right. Your PSA has been quite steady, which I'm very happy about. Just for the numbers, it started with 0.7, and now it's around 0.9. So it hasn't moved, and that's what we pay attention to, the velocity, and, and that's that, very important. That's one side of the screening. We're going to go in now and do the other side of the exam. So as we do this. We should say this is the digital rectal exam. Exactly yes. So right. you We're guys not go off. Show it. The camera will stay out here, yeah. but we'll go I'll in this room. All right. And 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 Nancy, as uh, Matt goes in, uh, it's it's also very important in the African American male community. This is a big deal. Well, it is because I don't think most African American men know that you're 60 percent more likely to get prostate cancer, and many times the cancer itself is more aggressive. You mm -hmm. know, something happened in American medicine in the 70s when we became very race conscious and mm -hmm. we took race out of medicine. That was a bad idea because race makes a difference with some cancers. So the fact that you're being screened today mm -hmm. and taking care of this is important. So uh, that I, was you can fast. see how fast that was. <laughs> are there, doctor? Are there any? Uh, uh, downsides to this? Or can there be any complications? There are no complications to screening. What we want to people know is get your PSA baseline at the age of 40. Certainly talk to your doctor because that individualized medicine is extremely the key. And we want to make sure what the trend of the PSA so is. So it's the trajectory the of the change of the PSA because we do want people to know that if you just make an action based on one test, Absolutely. you can have problems with biopsies, etc. So mm -hmm. we want people to make intelligent decisions. Is there a range you should be in? There's no such thing. We uh -huh. look at the numbers and we'll see exactly how and it goes. And you're fast too. <laughs> Certainly, family history plays a big role and also the race. We know that it's more common among the African The most American. important question, did it hurt? It doesn't hurt at all. And it took 34 seconds from what I'm being told from the control room. Is it the best 34 seconds of your life? Probably not. But if in 34 seconds a guy like this can detect something that might save your life, what are we talking Time about? Well, well, we, what he doesn't know is that I had to lose five pounds in order to make my finger a little smaller. <laughs> oh, <laughs> He's here till Thursday. <laughs> Try the veal. No, but, it's my but, turn, right? But, but the bottom oh, line is, you know, yes. your prostate is... You go, and this we'll is, wait for you. Okay. It's perfect. It's your fine, Your prostate though. is healthy. It's a normal size. It's smooth. I didn't feel any nodules, which is a big concern. Right. So you're perfect. Now and we if, know your PSA. if he had been sensitive, would you have thought, well, oh, maybe there's an underlying infection? So we would be treating him if his PSA was high or if there's anything abnormal on the exam, I may give him some antibiotics, repeat the PSA, and then go into biopsy. But you're basically feeling a sponginess to the prostate and looking for any nodules that might be there that maybe think you have a That's a, a mass. great point. P prostate is usually soft like this. If we feel some nodule and hardness, Nancy, you're absolutely right. Yeah. We need to look into it. So you get a lot of information from this exam. I think your next right, patient's Al's waiting turn. for you. All right. <laughs> Al, good luck. We'll see you in a couple for of minutes. For the second opinion, we're going to use two fingers. Yeah, okay. <laughs> see if you can beat 34 seconds, Doc. <laughs> All right, and Nancy, thank you like, so much for being a part we'll of this. You bet we'll have Al's uh, um, report Results. in the next uh, half hour. Okay, go now, how'd that go? So the exam was actually, it's a little enlarged, but it's not terrible. I don't feel any nodules or any abnormality, hmm. which is good. So I'm going to monitor him oh. once every six months, every year, to see exactly whether the size of the prostate is going to change. Are we going to find any kind of firmness in the future and look at the PSA? So you correlate his blood test, the change in it, and what you feel, and put that all together as Absolutely. part of his prostate health. What's important also is to know whether there's any family history, sure. anybody else that has prostate cancer. So you put all of this information and then you decide whether we're going to go for biopsy or not. And you're 100% and right. Not every element of the PSA means And here comes out. And so I'm going to ask you the same thing because I think this is what scares men. Does, did this rectal exam hurt? No, it's not comfortable, but, you know, it's, it's certainly... Uh, obviously doable, and, and it's 34 seconds. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think a lot of guys are also concerned about the embarrassment factor of it. So if, if my advice would be find a doctor you're very comfortable with, right. that that embarrassment factor is not going to be an issue. And remember, physicians aren't embarrassed about doing this, so we don't want patients to be embarrassed. This is a partnership. I think this is a very, very important point. The bottom line is you can save lives by doing this kind of things. That information and the data is extremely important, and don't be scared. Yep. Dr. David Samadhi. Thank you very much, sir. We really appreciate it. Nancy, thanks for your input and your information.